be so mad. Oh, you know. What's going on YouTube? It's Adam from Beyond the Grid. I'm with Amin. Hey, what's up guys? We're heading down to Lemon Lake. We're a little bit late, so I gotta start this video off. I'm sorry, Chris. It was a huge accident. Something we could avoid. <laughs> Don't hate me, okay? Be better if we left on time. <laughs> hopefully, honestly, hopefully you're still there when we get there. So honestly, we'll, we'll find out. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different, guys. We're gonna be doing a tutorial. So usually I show you guys how to edit photos in Lightroom, but I never actually show you guys how to take the photo. So that's what today's about. I'm gonna show you guys how to get into the settings, what settings to use, and how to take the photo. Then we're gonna jump into Lightroom and I'm gonna show you guys how to edit it. So let's get over to Lemon Lake and hopefully Chris is still there. So <laughs> see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we finally made it over Lemon Lake. I got Amin in the back here ready to model for us. What's up, guys? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go over the quick camera settings that you're going to run. For this shot, we're going to be running an f-stop of 4.5, a shutter speed over 125, and you're going to need to run an ND filter to get that shutter speed and the actual exposure off the sun here. So what an ND filter is going to do is it's going to drop your exposure down by four stops, which is the ND4. You can get an ND8 and you can actually get a little bit of motion blur on it, but because this one, we're not really going to worry too much of the motion blur on the water. We just want the shutter spot. So we're going to run this. Let's get the shot in and then we're going to hop back home and I'm going to show you guys how to edit this. All right guys, now that we're back in the studio, let's jump into this edit. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be editing it on the desktop version of Lightroom just cause it's a little bit more powerful than the app. Then I'm gonna create a preset for you guys which I'm gonna give to you guys for free and I'll link above once we're doing the edit. And that way you guys can use the same adjustments and the same settings on your mobile photos and achieve the same look. So let's jump in and let's get this guy done. All right guys, now that we're in Lightroom, let's do some basics really quickly here. So we're gonna leave the temperature just cause I wanna see what that happens afterwards. So we're gonna leave a lot of this stuff. What we're gonna do 
now is we're going to change the contrast just because I want to really focus on these rocks and have those really pop off this. So let's bring this guy up. Let's say about... Actually, that's not too bad. Highlights, because it's really blown out up here, I want to drop that right off. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop those pretty much right out. And yes, that's going to darken the photo quite a bit, but don't worry about it. Um, shadows, we're going to raise those guys up. Let's go with... Um, right there looks pretty good. Uh, whites, we're going to adjust those, raise those up to, let's say, about plus 30. Should be good around there. Uh, and right there. Blacks, we're going to do the opposite, so we're going to drop those, let's say, about... Oh. Right about there looks pretty good. Clarity, we'll just drop that right up just because I really want those rocks to pop at the front there. And as you guys can see, as I raise this down in the rocks, they actually really come out of there. Um, vibrancy, we're going to drop those guys, let's say about plus 10. So if you hit up on your arrow key when you guys are highlighting it, you'll get the fives. It'll get increments of five. Saturation, let's go... Um, Oh, about plus 25 that should be good uh tone curves that we're going to come back to you just because that's going to be a lot of adjustments on there i think i'm going to be doing about seven points there so let's adjust your hues and your coloring so let's go hues. i'm going to go about minus 10 on your reds uh, let's go minus 20 looks good there um yellows the same thing let's do the same thing about minus 20 uh greens Let's bring those to about yellowish. So let's go, uh, yeah, both there looks pretty good. And then this one, let's drop those. Let's change those blues to more of an aqua. Really change that sky over a little bit. Let's go, all right, that looks pretty good. And then the blues, let's make those um, right about there. That looks pretty good. Purples and magentas, we'll leave those. Um, your reds, let's jump those guys down a little bit to minus 10. Your oranges, same thing. Let's go about minus 20 there. Your yellows, let's do the minus 20 as well. Um, the greens, let's really darken those greens and the saturation off those trees. So let's go minus um, 64 looks pretty good. Aqua, let's do about minus... Um, yeah, that looks pretty good right here. As you can see, the blue really changed there. Your blue's down here, let's change that. Let's drop those guys to, um, say minus 29, looks pretty good. Uh, your purple's here, let's drop this down, say minus 15, and your magentas, about a minus 10. Uh, let's bring in some luminancy, and let's get the reds to really pop off whatever's left in there that we didn't decrease already. So let's go about what, plus 16 there. Oranges, same thing, let's get those to about a plus 24. Um, yellows just a little bit greens now let's drop these guys and get those trees to really come off aquas let's go down a little bit let's say minus 35 should be good um, purples and magentas we're just gonna touch these just a little bit just to get rid of it as you can see in like the the flare here we're gonna adjust that here so let's go minus um, yeah, minus seven looks pretty good. And then let's adjust your sharpening. Let's go about a plus 25 here. And masking, I'm just gonna add just a little bit of a mask. Luminancy, I usually adjust this for all my presets that are gonna go onto mobile, just to really soften it up and get rid of any noise that your camera and your actual mobile was gonna do. And then let's protect the contrast a little bit. So your split tones, Let's adjust this guy. I want to make the highlights. I want to make it a little bit gold. Actually, that looks pretty good right there. So we're at a 56 and a plus 16%. And then your shadows. I'm going to make this one a little bit of a greenish blue. Let's drop the percentage down. That looks really good right there. Uh, so that one's a 16 to 7 percent. Then we're going to come down. We're going to leave all of this stuff. And then your calibrations where you're going to really going to adjust some things. So the reds we're going to leave, greens we're going to jump this up and we're going to go right into the green. So let's go plus um, 44. Saturation, we're just going to drop that just a little bit. Uh, blues, we're going to go up to about a plus, ooh, plus 30. That looks pretty good right there. So when I turn that off, you can't really notice too much, but just a little bit, it's going to create in there. 
turn back on. Now this is where it's going to get a little bit difficult, guys. And this is where this is where the computer program is actually going to overtake what you're going to have in your mobility is the actual tone curves. You don't have that option in the app, but in here you do. So when I create the preset and you guys download it, you're going to get these options in there. So let's jump in and let's do that really quickly. So this one here, like I said, I'm going to add about seven points. So one, two, three. Actually, let's move this one up here. And one, two, three. Okay. So when I click, they obviously moved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them to the points that I want. So I'm going to raise the down, the bottoms a little bit. Let's bring this guy up a tiny bit right there. And this one here, so just you, let's say right there. Um, we're going to bring our highlights down quite a bit. So let's go about there. This guy, we're going to adjust over here just a little bit. Same with you. Let's bring you right there. And this guy, I'm going to go, yeah, right about there. That looks pretty good. So as you guys can see, that's pretty good as it is. So I'm going to do a quick and before and after for you guys. So that's your before and that's your after. So when you guys are on your computer, you guys can adjust some things. You guys could add some gradient filters and stuff like that to kind of blur out these rocks a little bit. But obviously that's not going to be possible in the app. So I'm not going to do it because I don't want you guys to have that option when you guys download the app. Or else you're going to have these weird gradient lines everywhere. So I'm going to throw this up as a preset for you guys. I'm going to link it right above. It should pop up any second now. Download it and you guys can install it. If you guys don't know how to install it, I made a tutorial in my last video, which I'll link down below. And then I'll teach you guys how to install this preset into your mobile. So if you guys enjoyed this video at all, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, everybody. There's